Hello my love, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, if you're brand new, I'm Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator and head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary and professional intuitive and astrologer. All the links for all of that can be found down below in my bio. So we're gonna be talking about curses and hexes today. Please pardon the fact that I'm wearing a robe Quite honestly, it's Saturday, and I didn't feel like wearing clothes, let's be honest. Who puts on clothes on during the weekend? Not me. So let's talk about um, curses and hexes, which is why you're here. Because the title says that that's what we're talking about. Now, I just wanna say that this is one of those topics that is very controversial. I'm probably gonna get some comments. It is what it is. Um, but do your best to stay in a positive headspace. There's I'm gonna give you the most information that it is that I can when it comes to curses and hexes, but I'm also going to give you ways to protect yourself, ways to curse and hex others, and why you would wanna do that. And at the very end of the video, there's some major warnings that I wanna share with you guys that I have to share. It would be irresponsible for me to put this information out there. In fact, I was really hesitant on putting this information out there for the world because I didn't want anybody to use and abuse it, which is very common when it comes to curses, hexes, and jinxes and stuff like that. So um, I will say, real quick disclaimer, that anything that you put out into the universe, it will come back to you three times three times as hard minimum. So just be very cognizant, be very aware of the energy that you're putting out there, your intention, why you're doing it, your will for putting out a curse or hexing someone, and we'll explain that a little further on in the video. Um, another thing that I wanna say really quick, um, a bit of a disclaimer, is I get this question asked a lot, just have you ever cursed or hexed someone? And the answer is yes. There's a way to do it responsibly, and there's a, a a moment when you are encouraged and supported to curse or hex someone and there are many moments where you should not curse or hex someone okay so let's go ahead and dive in this video is going to be pretty um, relaxed very casual I don't want to have you know have to edit this it's Saturday after all if I didn't want to put on clothes Today, I damn sure I didn't want to <laughs> edit a video, but I did want to get this video up there for you because you guys voted for it on my Twitter account. But, okay, so, first thing is, is what is a curse, what is a hex? So, pretty much what a curse is, is an intention. It's your will towards something or someone for misfortune or evil to fall on them wherever they go, no matter wherever, whatever they do, no matter where they go. So, it's very possible for us to get cursed by other people. It is very possible for there to be generational curses and it's also very possible for us to curse ourselves. I have noticed that people have a difficult time accepting the fact that there are such things as generational curses and hexes and those types of things because the mind is everything. They want to believe, emphasis on they want to believe that the mind, your mind can um, control a curse if and then to and they totally don't want to even talk about the fact that there are generational curses put on that ca have been or could have been put on you from your generations before from your mother or your father or their mother and their father from generations and generations and generations that spills over into you i believe that the reason why they have a hard time with accepting the fact that there is such a thing as those types of curses that follow along in a lineage is because they don't, that person who's talking about it doesn't have the capacity to fix the problem or to find a solution, so they just pretend like it doesn't exist. Pretending like something doesn't exist doesn't make it not exist. It just kind of, you know, puts a band-aid over the issue. This is one of those times in my career and in my journey where I have to talk about things with you guys openly and candidly that yes, it's not just the power of positive thinking. The mind is a powerful thing, absolutely. You can curse yourself and you can work with, you know, um, a curse that's been put on you and, you know, use the power of positive thinking or manifest and set intention and have a blessed life, but still have to deal with the ramifications, if that's the correct word, but you still have to deal with the lingering punishment that was put on you, whether you deserved it or you didn't deserve it, that could have come from someone putting placing a curse on you or your family or 
you know, generations before you. We have to talk about that openly and honestly. There's many people who know and have a feeling on their spirit that they have been cursed or their family members have been cursed or they're watching these generational curses occur and they come to the internet, they come to YouTube, they come to these spiritual leaders and these spiritual gurus and ask them and they are met with this idea of, well, power of positive thinking. If you don't believe it, it doesn't occur. That is simply not the case. Um, we see this a lot in cultures like Romanian cultures, um, Jamaican, like the islands, um, some countries in Africa that there are there's strong curses that have happened and have occurred European curses so we can't curses all over like who are we kidding like who am I kidding there's there's curses all over in different cultures where there's different ways of curses um, you know generational curses passing on from family member to family member to family member and then you have you or whoever is watching this video now um, kind of feeling the brunt of that and having to, you know, find resources in order to free themselves from this misfortune that's been um, spoken over their life. Now, curses can be in the moment, they could be temporary, they could be lasting. This is something as quick and as easy as like someone speaking ill at you or giving you the evil eye and then your day being completely derailed and dysfunctional and wonky and you not realizing that someone spoke ill over you. Um, let's say if someone cuts you off in traffic and is like, you know, gives you the middle finger and just says, you know, fuck you and fuck your day, that is a curse. And then the rest of the, your day, you may not even be thinking about it, but at the very end of the day, you are looking back and you're like, yo, everything went to shit that day or this day. Like, I can't wait for tomorrow. And then it's like, well, why? Like, what's going on in the planets? Or is it the fact that that person spoke ill over you and was had so much anger and rage and hate directed towards you that it actually cursed you that is a possibility that is that's totally that's a real thing that happens that's energy directed towards you that is a curse um then there's curses that go larger and are longer and these are the generational curses this is something that i experienced that my family has experienced um and we knew this we we had many intuitive readers tell us the same thing that we were confirming within our own spirit that our own guides were speaking to us and i don't, don't want to go into detail but there was one area of our lives that a certain group within my family would feel and experience the same thing again and again and again. And it was because of this jealousy, it was because of this rage that um, one member of my family generations ago had experienced that for the rest, the remainder of those that were born into the family would experience that. And those that needed to be broken, that spell needed to be broken. So that's what we're gonna talk about today is um, number one, what that curse is, which is what I just talked about. Um, and number two, how to fix that. So how do you know that you have a curse on you? Well, because that area of your life is fucked, pardon my French, but, but it's like no matter how good of a person you are, no matter how much you pray, no matter how many intentions you set, that area of your life is just messy. It's like, like no matter what you do, it blows up, it breaks down, there's dysfunction, there's discord. How you'll know that it's that serious is that it's not a planetary thing that, you know, no matter how much the transits go, like with the planets, I'm an astrologer, so I have to bring it there. But, you know, it could be years, it could be 20 years, 30 years, and there's no break in this area in your life. Not only that, but you have, you'll notice a trend that your family might be experiencing the same type of dysfunction. It could be financial curse, where someone years ago, um, you know, put a curse on your family because of jealousy, because of whatever happened between them that was so powerful, that was so strong. Maybe they went to another witch. Maybe they went to someone who loves to work with evil energy. Um, it depends. Just because you're putting curses and hexes on someone doesn't make you evil. We'll talk about that next. But, or in this video, but, you know, they... It depends where that curse came from and how strong it was and what that curse was specifically that you can feel it again and again and again and no matter again whatever it is that you do you simply cannot escape it it could be in your relationships it could be divorce it could be illness whatever the case is so yeah I mean that that shit is very real we we have to talk about that there the power of positive thinking is not going to fix something that is so heavy like that there's just no way and I feel as though, again, there's this lack of information that's out there on the internet um, and people just saying like, okay, well, put the power of positive thinking and that will fix it. That's, that's not 
if there is a curse or a hex that is on you and it is specific and it is long and lingering, it's generational, that is how, like, you'll feel it because you will know. If you're watching this video and you're like, yo, yes, yes, then that is, it is so. That is, that's something that has probably been spoken over your life and we can break it at, by the end of this video. Another thing is you'll see signs and signals, meaning that maybe you'll see, um, like, something misfortunate will happen and you'll see something occur again and again and again and again for some people it could be something very common like i don't think that black cats are evil or black crows are evil i'm just saying that there are specific things that people will see um common things that people will see it could be a stack of you know quarters it could be an x um right before something right before or after something happens it could be a black crow something that you hear something that you feel those are signs and signals that a curse has has occurred in your life and it is re repeating again in that moment and cursing you in that moment if you see me looking down it's because i'm looking down at my phone i don't want to miss any anything i wrote all these notes down for you guys because i again i didn't want to edit this video and i don't want to spend forever talking tonight or today with you guys um, another thing that I want to talk to you guys about is how we curse ourselves. So this is, you know, kind of ties into the idea of positive thinking. I do believe that if there is a curse on you, or maybe it's not a generational curse, maybe it's not that heavy, it's not that serious, but it's still creating misfortune within your life. If you keep harping on it, if you keep focusing on it, then yes that curse will become bigger, bigger, and bigger because that's what you're setting your intention on. That's what you're focusing on. So you can actually curse yourself um, from a curse and add on to that curse by adding more fuel to the fire, by giving it more and more energy, and it feeds whoever, the energy or the spirit of whoever put that curse on you initially. It just gives it more power. Another way that we, so if that's the case, stop doing that. Go ahead and there's remedies in this video that I'll talk in the near future, like right now in this video, but um, just really quickly, stop doing that. Stop speaking about the curse. That was another thing that I didn't want to, why I was kind of hesitant about making this video is because I didn't want to talk so openly about what my family has been dealing with or what my family was dealing with that I broke in this generation. And my age group, I'm 30, um, 32 right now. Those in their 30s, our 40s, our 20s, this is the age group where we break those generational curses, those generational bonds. Look for Pluto and Capricorn energy and see um, how right now there's this major focus on breaking these huge generational curses, these ch huge generational bonds, these things that have controlled us, manipulated us, and taken our power from us. This, these are the generations that are working now. If you're watching this video, it's probably you who's responsible for breaking this curse, and I'm just very happy and grateful to be able to give this information to you guys um, this afternoon. By the way, go ahead and subscribe to this video while you're at it and hit a thumbs up button. I do this um, hit the thumbs up button. I do this inf I share this information for free. It doesn't put me at risk, but it does make me vulnerable in some way. Don't think that I'm not protected. I have energy of protection all over me from my jewelry that it is that I wear to the oils that it is that I'm putting an anoint my body, which we'll talk about, and also the candles that it is that I use to protect myself. Um, I would be naive to come onto the YouTube platform and not be protected in many, many ways, not only physically, mentally, emotionally, but also spiritually. There is a force around me, so don't even try it if you're trying to be negative or evil. Um, but also, yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up in order to support me putting myself out there. I appreciate it, always and forever. Okay, so yeah, another thing that I want to talk about is how we curse ourselves with the words that is that we use. And this is for those that have generational curses on them and also those who do not have generational curses on them but actively speak such ill over themselves this is when we look at ourselves in the mirror and we're like Ugh, i hate the way i fucking look or this is a bust this is gonna blow up this is gonna be bad nothing ever good comes my way all people are evil you know, I don't have good friends. Those are bad. Those that that energy that you're putting out there, those words are everything, you guys. Words are powerful. Mercury, the energy of Mercury, ruling communication, ruling the thoughts, ruling the mind is powerful. Mercury also rules the magician card within the tarot tarot within the tarot deck. It's showing you that the power of manifestation, the power of word is everything. So you want to be very mindful and cautious of the energy that is that you're putting out there. If you are speaking ill over yourself, if you're speaking ill over your projects, if you're speaking ill over your children, if you're speaking ill over your partnership, your husband, your wife, you are going to speak evil over them. You are cursing them. Always do your best to speak 
positive energy, even if everything is good in your relationship, in your business, and in your children's lives, continue to bless them, continue to anoint them, continue to speak spells um, and blessings over them. Um, it is almost selfish that you have to do it, to how much you bless them because of how much you will gain from them being blessed. So continue to speak good vibes over them, continue to speak positive over them and love over them and light and blessings over them. If you say, oh my God, fuck my husband, um, or, you know, my partner's so dumb, or, you know, I'm not happy in my relationship, and all you do is complain, you are cursing your relationship, it will never move past that toxic, draining space, so do better. Stop speaking so ill over yourself. It starts with you. You almost have to put a spell on yourself and break that curse that you're putting over yourself and break that curse of what you have already put on yourself, um, which we'll talk about again it, moving forward in this video, in order to remove and relinquish yourself and to free yourself from this bond of the words that you have already spoken over yourself and around your relationships in your life up until this point. When you know better, then you do better. There, the universe is very forgiving, it's very accommodating, and it's very generous. So if you have up until this point of watching this video, you've put a lot of ill out there, this is a perfect opportunity for you to know what you are doing and work really hard to make it better. Okay, so stop speaking ill over yourself. Stop speaking ill when you look at yourself in the mirror. Stop writing down negative things within your journal. Stop being toxic. Stop being your own worst enemy. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about um, removing the curse because I feel like that's why a lot of you guys, should we talk about removing the curse or should we talk about cursing others? Okay, let's talk about cursing others first. Mmm, it is on and popping tonight today this morning what time is it 1201 okay so let's talk about why and when you would want to curse someone because we're that that this is controversial because people will be like well why would i want to put curses out there but because you know what some people deserve it so like i said the universe is generous <laughs> very generous in all the ways that it can be generous it could be generous with bad and misfortune it could be generous with good and and fun things and beauty and abundance and blessing those types of things um and love so you want to pick your poison. With that, the universe is about balance. It's about equality. It's about black and white, negative and positive, dark and night, or day and night. All of those things, left and right. So, and there's no such thing as right or wrong. It just is what it is. Um, but the universe speaks in the, in the language of energy. So if someone is directing energy out towards you to create ill, like misfortune over your life, it is in your best interest in order to put a spell of protection or to curse or to hex that energy so that it does not touch you, so that you are protected, so that they learn their lesson. That's the energy of justice. You cannot be living on this planet, in my belief, and you, know, you can agree or disagree with me all you want. Um, I didn't ask you for your opinion, to be honest, but it's cool if you agree, but it's cool if you don't agree. But you know, the universe wants justice, and it is not, um, you are not a human being walking this face of the, this earth, taking punishes, taking punches, taking hits and blows, be by, you know, at the, you know, the, um, the convenience of others, okay? So if you find yourself in a position where you're constantly the pushover, you're constantly a doormat, people are getting one over on you, and you allow it, that is an imbalance. The universe does not like that. The universe is waiting for you to say, fix it and make it better. That's where karma comes through. Karma is not always an evil thing or a bad thing. It's a return to sender. That's my actual definition. That's my personal definition of the word hex. Hex to me means a return to sender. If you are looking at me, watching me succeed, watching me love, watching me thrive, watching me be beautiful, watching me live my best life, and you are upset at me thriving instead of being inspired by it and you speak ill over me and you want to see ill over me you think that the universe is going to allow me being a good person to take a punishment for something that i did not deserve absolutely not that's when i use um, candles and oils before, during, and after to protect myself from not being a punching bag for others' own insecurity and their imbalance. 
a curse and a hex. This is a perfect opportunity to use a curse and a hex in order to make sure that anybody who tries to put ill or misfortune on you, it's immediately returned back to sender three times. Now, if there's something specific, if there's something that falls through the cracks, a person that I've allowed into my life because of lack of discernment or lack of judgment on my part, it is what it is. Um, sometimes there's people who come through and they do something in order to hurt me with intention. They know what they're doing. If they were to have a face-to-face -face moment with the universe, the divine, and the universe would be like, why did you do that? And they felt guilty. They knew what they were doing. So if you feel guilt knowing that you intentionally tried to slander my name, you know, throw bad vibes my way or whatever the case is, my, I will curse you. That means that I will return that energy back to you because justice, in the name of justice. I did not deserve it, I didn't ask for it, I wasn't looking for it, and I know myself, I move from a space of higher vibration. I'm not trying to hurt anyone or anything. So if you're trying to hurt me, you are guilty, and this curse will come back to bite you in the ass. So if you have someone or something that is actively um, and intentionally speaking ill or misfortune over you, um, this would be a great time, a great opportunity for you to hex or to curse the energy. Now, that means that, you know, they deserve it. Why? Because they, justice, man, like, their intention is to hurt you. Their intention is to harm you. And it is not in your best interest, and the universe will not allow it, and neither will the divine or God or whoever will not allow you to just receive that and be punished and penalized. Um, curses and hexes are kind of, are you know, karma, you kind of working with karma and, and ushering it along um, in order to protect yourself, but also it's for the betterment of the universe because it provides a lesson. Um, if all people need are here to coexist and to thrive in the same planet with the same energies, it is in our best interest in order to raise ourselves to the higher vibration. And if someone is trying to um, speak ill or misfortune, they are really operating from a lower vibration. So. Just like a child, if you're a parent and your child is doing things that are bad or evil towards another kid, you know, because they're being malicious or whatever, they have to learn that lesson and they get punished so that they don't continue that behavior. The same thing occurs with a curse. That if there is a person who is doing things malicious or doing things to, you know, act out or whatever, it's okay to punish them. It's okay to you know, put it out there so that they can learn to do better, to, to not do that, and to move from a space of love and light, and to not get triggered, um, and, you know, like, lash out at other people. So that's the best example that I can use for that. Now, that's, that's a great way to use a curse, or why you would want to curse someone, or hex someone, um, and again, like I said, my personal definition of hex is return to sender. <laughs> so, right. Okay, so, one of the best ways if you do want to curse someone or hex something is to use a candle. Now, shameless self-plug, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I use a candle from my apothecary. It's the Black Banish Candle. These candles are restocked every Thursday, so if you're tuning in from the future and you're like, Jess, you're all sold out, yes, it's because my candles and my oils are the best. Um, and there is, they are in high demand, but I don't take shortcuts with them and I put all of the intent in them to support them. They are fixed when you get them. So this is something that I use personally when it comes to cursing or hexing energy and using to protect myself. Um, basically, they are fixed with a certain recipe of ingredients that I will not use share on the internet anymore. Um, good luck trying to find it, you're not gonna find it. But that I use from my own experience working with my guides and from my own history with working with curses and hexes that is very, very powerful and works every single time. So basically what you do is, you don't have to use my candles, you can use your own by all means, but um, if you do use my candles or your own, you can write down your petition of exactly who and what it has wronged you or what it is that you're cursing or hexing or whatever. Um, I personally like to keep the name out of it unless someone really really did me dirty but I like to keep the name open meaning that because I don't know I have no idea there could be family members or friends who are actively have been trying not knowingly but also intentionally speaking ill over me and they can get that energy too um, because I'm not doing the same thing for them when there's this question that I get all the time where 
Oh, I'm sorry. So with the petition, you write down your petition of what it is that you're trying to hex with that person. The candle is fixed and you put it at the very bottom of the candle. You light it for seven to nine or 13 days. I prefer um, seven, seven, it depends. It could be seven days for me or nine weeks, depending on the um, severity of the punishment that, or the energy that I'm putting out there. Okay, um, what else was I gonna say? I totally forget. It'll come back to me, it always does. So let me go ahead and check my notes. Uh, oh, what day do I usually do this on? Every Saturday. S why Saturday? Because Saturday is ruled by Saturn. I vibe with Saturn so hard. Saturn is working with generations, like for real. Like things that are concrete, cemented, and are not easy to break out of. Um, so that is to me is one of the perfect days to work with curses and hexes. Um, it's Saturday today and I will be continuing to light my personal candle that I have the banished candle but it's it literally makes it so that that curse that hex that energy that's put out there for protection it's not temporary it's not overnight it is lasting and I think that that's always something to be very clear and conscious of is the type of energy of what you're working with and your will and your intention um, yeah that's all I'm going to say on that one. <laughs> okay, so some of you guys are probably like, well, Jess, how do I protect myself from curses? How do I break curses? This is something that I feel like is such an easy thing, but I feel like because it's so easy, everyone thinks that it's not powerful. But if you know anything about me and my magic and my intention is that the more simple it is and the more um, easy it tends to be, the more powerful it tends to be and the more my, my will, my mind my words my thought is able to focus the stronger your focus the stronger the, the the work so it's not all about using all different types of stuff because that energy starts getting muddled all you need is mercury energy all you need is the power of the mind power of the thought power of the word and writ and write it down okay that's all you need so when it comes to breaking a curse over you, breaking a hex that's been over you, whether it's generational or temporary. One thing that has always worked for me that I use a lot is I'll use an anointing oil. Um, this is one of the oils from my apothecary, again. Um, that's its own recipe, but you can use the Archangel Michael oil, you can use a blessed oil, protection oil, or a banished oil. Those oils will be listed down below in the bio. If you do not want to invest in that oil, you don't have to. There's, there's specific herbs and um, specific intention that I speak over them, that I work with them in order to bless them so that they are powerful. They work for me, they work for my friends, my clients all the time. Um, if you don't wanna do that, you can use um, Angel um, Angelica, um, you could use um, dragon's blood, you could use cayenne pepper, um, if you're cursing something, uh, you could definitely use that. You can use um, mullein, um, mullein leaf in order to create a hex oil if you're cursing something. Or you can use olive oil, simple olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, the, the purer the better, in order to bless yourself. In order, And then what you do is you can put this, the sign of the ankh on your forehead or the sign of the cross on your forehead and at the very base of the your skull the back of your head so you have your neck you have your head and there's this little type of indentation that goes right into the base of your skull it kind of like is like a little dip that kind of goes up that's you'd be surprised how much energy goes in through the very base of your skull it's so important that you protect that space either with your hair with your scarf um, with you know hoodies that's that's another thing too is that you'll see me when I'm working at my altar I always have hoodies on it's because there's an oil there and then I'm also using fabric to protect it I do not like to expose that area of my neck um, this is not just in my belief this is across diff many different cultures um, that have realized that that space right there at the very base of the neck is an energy portal portal and that's evil can access that or good energy can access that but either way you need to be protecting it so basically what you do is you use that extra virgin um, olive oil or another oil that you would like to use in order to protect yourself and put the ankh the sign of the ankh there for life or the sign of the cross to, to um, protect it there's certain um, Bible verses that you guys can use for example I think it's Matthew 25 26 um, hold on let me check for you 
<sighs> oh, Matthew 26, 52, um, or that there's many different, just Google, Google different pass, um, passages from the Bible if that's what you want to do. If, you, if you're Christian oriented, you could use the, you know, speak the oil into the blood of, of Christ, of Jesus Christ. This is a non-denominational channel, so I'm just factoring everybody in. Or if there's someone specific that you want to work with, you can call on their energy in order to protect you, and they will. Absolutely will. But you could do it very easy with olive oil. I know that some people kind of hate the fact that I talk about Bahati Life Apothecary, but you're on my channel, and it's everything that has worked for me that is physical. And then I talk to you about what you can do on your own verbal. Okay, so doing all those things, you can use those oils in order to protect your energy um, from curses and then also to break it. And then also, speaking of which, you can use the Archangel Prayer. prayer. I believe it's nine weeks is the Archangel Prayer, the Never Failing Prayer, which is Archangel Mark, Michael is amazing when it comes to breaking curses, like really strong generational curses. So I will link that down below. That has all of the instructions. Um, that's what I'm going to say, and that's what it is that I'm going to share. It works all the time. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, then this is probably not the right channel for you. The fact that it is what it is. Like, I'm just telling, I'm just giving you information. Okay. Now, I did talk about some warnings that, and then I'm going to end the video. Number one, be cautious about working while you're angry or sad. It's one thing to use your emotions to channel energy. It's another to fall victim to it. So there are many times when people are cursing and hexing people that they are raging, man. Like something has just happened and they are P-I-S-T pissed. If you know where that um, quote is from, then go ahead and leave it down in the comments. But I know that piss is spelled P-I-S-S-E-D, but it's from a movie, and I love to say that. Anyways, moving forward. Um, yeah, so you're, like, mad, man. Like, you're super upset. Like, someone pissed you off, and you were raging. Be very, very careful. And the reason why I say that is because when you put that energy out there, it's very powerful. So you can use it to create a change. Um, but you want to check yourself before you wreck yourself. So you have to check your intention. If you are cursing someone out of evil intent, out of ill will, they didn't do anything to you, or you really are wishing harm on them, it is going to come back to you. So how do you determine the difference? Like, how do you know that you're not going to get punished? Well, if that person, if you're living your life and someone, you know, does something ill to you, like, or your, your boyfriend, your partner, <laughs> um, you know, says some, like, does something bad, cheats on you, knows that they're doing something bad, um, and intentionally does it, and you curse them and you hex them so that they learn their lesson and that they experience misfortune so that they, and they know that it's you <laughs> that put the curse on them, that you're, if that, that's your energy putting it out there, which is like, learn your lesson. If you, if your hands are clean and you have nothing on your conscience, you have no space of guilt, you can put that curse out there without hurting anyone, but that they learn and that they know that it comes directly from you. That's something that I always do when I when I do curse someone or hex someone is that when the misfortune happens, they will see me <laughs> in their mind's eye or they will think about me and they'll be like, shit, this is because I did this to Jess. They will know. Um, that's always like kind of like my signature with my curses and my hexes and it does work. It works almost immediately. Um, okay, but let's say you're angry and you're raging and you're just doing it because you're like, I hate that bitch, like blah, 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 blah. She's not doing anything to you or he hasn't done anything to you. So why are you cursing them and hexing them? Your hands are not clean. It's going to come back to bite you in the ass. And it's going to come back to bite you in the ass hard three times minimum. So if you're doing it in the name of justice, especially now with things going on in the planet, um, it's okay for you to curse and hex certain things in order to create a breakthrough so that justice can occur. However, again, if you are, you know, doing it to hurt someone intentionally or to fuck someone up, you just, now you're working in very evil energies, very sticky territory, and it never works, and why would you want that to work? Meaning that it never will work out for you. It is always gonna come back to bite you hard in the ass. Um, oh, okay. So that was my next. That was my next warning. Is your conscious clear and clean? What you put out will come back. If you are in the clear, you are good. If not, it'll fuck you up three times minimum. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much that on that. All the links to anything that I mentioned are going to be down in my bio. Um, I do wish you a big blessing. I do wish that um, you know any curses or ex misfortune or ill will that has been spoken over to life that it is that it will and is be that it will be broken. 
Um, until then, you know, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because it's an authentic source for intention, magic, empowerment, astrology, intuition, etc., etc. Um, integrity is everything. I will never lead you guys astray. That is never my intention to lead you guys astray. Um, so this is a source, a really value, valuable source um, of gold for you to use as you will. Feel free to go ahead and share this video with others um, secretly or publicly. It is what it is. Um, and you can find me on Instagram at Bahati Life or on Twitter at Bahati Life. And the links to everything from my apothecary to my services to other information is listed down in the bio. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.